this video right here that I'm making up, this video is for um, for the people who who can really dig this uh, Roland D20, this old school synthesizers. Now, this old school synthesizer came out a long time ago. It's not like up to date. And so the only thing I'm trying to do with it is trying to use it the best way I can. You understand what I'm saying? So, but there is some features that you can use with it. And I'm gonna try to um, bring the camera up a little bit closer to show you some of the sounds that it's able to make and, uh, and how I go about using it when I want to just add a little extra something into, uh, into the mix. Every time I be doing this, I'm just trying to figure out a way to make myself, I'm only one of me, but to kind of make it turn it into a band. So I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what this keyboard is about. What y'all hearing is the sounds actually coming. You can send the bass or the sounds out to the synthesizer. And while it's in MIDI, you can do some other things. Let me go ahead and demonstrate. You know, just trying to construct a little something. Now that's coming from the synthesizer. Now, you know, y'all, I have made a video on uh, how I was changing the uh, keyboard from split and all that. So let me go ahead and get back to what I was doing. Sorry about getting on track. Y'all don't mind on funky with me, right? Okay, all right. Y'all gonna have to excuse me, you know, sometimes I, uh, you know how you be getting off into the music and stuff like that, but you know what, let me show y'all something right quick, let me turn the music off. Alright, alright, let me go ahead and show y'all a little something, alright. The Roland D20, and these are some of the sounds. Now, I just, um, 
I got the foot pedal on it. And so you hit one note and the note sustains. Then you can uh, like that's the uh, the note C. And let me go up to another one. Okay, there's another C and another part of the keyboard. And there's another C. And that's kind of like some of the stuff that you can do. And um, there is a pitch that you can change the pitch. You know, so it's very, you, you can get very, it's very expressive. Freak it like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn the uh, Roland 303 on and show you like how I go about. Like I just sent the uh, signal out to the Roland 303. Let me show you something. Excuse me, man. My wiring is all tangled up and everything. You know what I'm saying? Goodness, man. But anyway, um, so y'all see what it's capable of doing. 